Um, I think I'm just going to take a Rishkar here. Rishkar goes into several decks, including the black, uh, white, green counters deck, which I think is a very good deck. Um, might wheel the Grumgully, like how we might end up playing the same thing. Knight of Autumn and Grumgully are the two cards that I have my eye on, but Rishkar goes in, bo in both the decks these want to be in, and Rishkar is more uh, flexible, obviously. Uh, it doesn't pigeonhole me quite as quickly, so yeah, we're going to grab a Rishkar again. I'm a big fan of this card. Very, very versatile. Ooh, Emil is kind of hot. There's also the Scattered Groves. There's also the Scattered Groves. Um, I mean, it's really fun, though. I don't know how realistic it is to actually do the three-mana blink thing. Um, but there is some counter synergy to be had there as well. I mean, it seems like a fun one to, uh, to draft. And I have like, I picked it in the first draft and then just, like, obviously torpedoed that. Ooh. Renata seems really nice too. All right, all right, all right. We're we're on board for some counter shenanigans now. We're 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 doing it. And geez, it's a dry cassette, but you know we're gonna we're gonna be disciplined. Stick to the stick to the stick to the plan. Um, tactician is kind of whatever. There's a wilt. There's a vast with fortification. It's kind of a weak peak. Peak four? Pick four? But I actually think I might just take fortifications here. Obviously, like, if it's a land, that's fine. And then it does, you know, combo nicely with, uh... It does combo nicely with, um, you know, all of our random 1-1 synergies. Like, I can actually, like, for one mana, turn something into a Minotaur if Rish cars out, which is kind of cool. So it's, like, sort of pays for itself. If that makes sense. Wilt is pretty good. Maybe I'm supposed to pick the Wilt and then, like, wield the Vastwood Fortifications. I'm not going to die if I don't get a Wilt. There's also a Brontosaur. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, this deck is wide open. This deck is wide open right now. Um. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so green, green, green X counters is super live. Yes, please, Wild Blood Scourge. Sorry, Multani. I do think that this card is really nice, and so is Aerial Spawner for that matter, but, like... This card is thick. This card gets so big. Um, okay. Uh, Nylium is pretty good. But I think I'm just going to take Gem Razor again. I just really like Gem Razor. It goes pretty well in our deck so far as well. It's actually really good with the Swarm Shambler. Because this base 0-0 zero, zero means all the counters are just bonus on top of the, uh, the, uh, the whatchamacallit. Yeah, we're going to take Gem Razor pretty easy here. Though Nylea would have been a very reasonable pick for the deck as well, I think. But Gem Razor are kind of OP, to be honest. Ooh, Patron of the Valiant. So this is a bit of a win more card, but it's also just like a random 5-mana 4-4 four, four flyer. So like the, 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 the Counter's Clause is like nice, but not necessary. Um, yeah, let's take the Patron of the Valiant here. That actually seems pretty reasonable. So now we really hope to just wheel the uh, Knight of Autumn. That would be an excellent card to wheel. It's got a lot of good... Like, it's just, like, kind of the perfect card for a deck. It's a naturalize. It has 1-1 one, one counter synergy. It's good with the blink effect of Renata. Nice, we did wheel it. Yes. All right, all right, all right, all right. Grumgully, very, very good card, too. We all, like, you know, I'm a big fan of Grumgully, but Knight of Autumn just kind of solidifies this, and now we're just kind of cooking gas. This is definitely, like, the best start to a draft we've had today. I feel pretty good about this. And before we just O2 drop, but, you know... Keep it positive. Yeah, nice. We'll the Thrashy B as well. All right, well, equipments and artifacts don't... St or, sorry, auras and enchantments. Oh, my God. Artifacts and enchantments don't stand a chance. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, all right, well. Can't do much about this pack, uh, unfortunately. Um, just take a random card. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Well, apparently red and blue are very, very open as well. Like, that is pretty egregiously like Krenko. Krenko almost makes me wish that we'd taken the Grumgully instead, because Grumgully into Krenko is like, or Krenko into a Grumgully is like some pretty spicy stuff. I'm going to take the Guard Mage. It's not out of the question that we splash blue for it. It does have some combination synergy with, um, with Emil. Emil is a really cool card. I really, I, I, I really am sad that it is so obscenely expensive in paper right now because of how, because of the limited supply. Because it is just a very, very cool card. All right. Well, here I think it's just like a pretty no-brainer Nessian Horn Beetle. Like Faith's Fetters is like the only card that's even like, like, 
there's a roar of the worm, but like I still fail to understand what deck actually wants roar of the worm. Like there aren't there aren't any discard outlets in this deck in this format that I can think of that are at all reasonable. And like paying six for a seven seven is bad. Like if you're flashing this back for four and getting a six six, that's legit great. But like I just don't think there's any decks in the format that this makes any sense in. Anywho, we're taking the horn beetle. Good two drop for this deck. Counter synergies, big creature synergies. <laughs> oh baby. Oh, baby. This is, like, the reason to be this deck, basically. Um, Is Wild Mongrel in this format? I don't think it is. Um, That was a deck back in the day, though. You're not wrong. Yeah, this is what I mean. Like, I don't understand. Like, it, it's a cool card, but, yeah. Um, All right, yeah. Champion of Lambhold by, like, the least close margins ever. The card is unreasonable. Uh, ooh, ooh, wow, there are so many good cards for a deck here. There are so many good cards for a deck here. There is Tristani, there's Ovia, there's Cartouche. I think I'm going to take the Tristani. No, I'm going to take the Ovia and try to wield the Tristani. We just saw how ridiculous this card gets. Um, like, neither of them are super, super synergy cards with what we're doing. Like, these are both sort of go-wide cards. But both of these cards are also very silly with, like, Champion of Lambholt, among other things. Um, so I'm going to take the Ophia because it's less likely to wheel than a gold card. Like, we wheel the Knight of Autumn, and so I don't see why we wouldn't wheel these. Uh, here I'm going to take the Fixing over any of these, like, sort of random green and, re and white cards. This card's not even good. I still don't think the green-white Auras deck is real. It, I think it was real in the last Tinkerer's Cube, but then they changed it more into this deck being the green-white deck, and so this kind of just, like, feels like a bit of a relic. Um, By the way, yeah, I'm going to take the, the fixing here pretty happily. If we wheel literally any of these white or green cards, I'll be fine with it. There was Onsera's Wings there, notably, but this doesn't feel like an Onsera's Wings deck. It's probably not bad in the deck, but I'm not going to, like, put a high premium on it. Mm. All right, well, then this pack is just, like, an actual whiff. Literally, no white cards and, like, barely a green card. Um, I guess I'll take it. Like, Collision as a sideboard card, I think, is still fine. Oh, man. Um, Jesus, what do I want in this? Okay, so, Electoral... No, that's not the card I want here. It's probably just Pelt Collector. This cares about tokens, which my deck doesn't really care about. This is actually, like, decent, but I think we can also wheel Bloom Hulk probably out of this pack. There's Mantle, which is just sort of decently good, but not incredible. And then, like, Salvala, again, not really... Yeah, I'm just going to take Pelt Collector. We kind of need... Like, one drops are good. One drops are good. Fuck yeah. Okay, this deck is actually absurd. This card, I don't know if any... Like, you guys have seen me draft this a couple times now. I don't know if anyone was there for the drafts where I just went off with this, but this card in a 1-1 counters deck is unreasonable. Super unreasonable. Ooh, do I want to try to splash a Grackmaw? Release the Dogs is a good card, but it doesn't do anything in our deck. I really don't need a Lantern. I'm going to hedge on a Grackmaw, see if we can pick up some fixing for it. Um, yeah, this pack was the pack that just had nothing for us the first time around, so it, again, unsurprisingly, continues to have nothing for us. I'll take a Sigil Sword. I don't think I'm going to play it, but it's better than nothing. Trusty Retriever might actually be good. So might Chainweb Arachnir. Retriever buys back artifacts or enchantments, which means it can buy back Module. Oh, literally just Module? All right, never mind. We're taking the Chainweb Arachnir. I mean, this, I might regret it later, but, like... It's a four mana, like, three, four. I'm not super excited about it. I'll take the chain web. Ooh, we have the Armorcraft Judge. Pretty okay with that. Pretty okay with that. Uh, I don't think Crawl High Pruner is that good of a card. So I'm just going to take... Oh, I don't know why I put that in the sideboard. I meant to put that in the main deck. Um, This is another pack that had nothing for us if memory serves. So... Oh, yeah. Okay, so we did build the Blue Hulk. I was right about that. That may or may not make the cut, but it currently looks good so far. We have a two-pack deck, folks. This is 18 extremely good cards after two packs. Um, And then this one goes to the side. And even the option for the Grack... Ooh, baby. Oh, do I take the Evolution or the Fledgling? 
Evolution is, like, kind of obscene. But Fledgling, I think, is just, like, more consistently good. And I have a feeling that the Evolution wield. I just don't think anyone's in this deck at all. Whereas this actually goes fine. Yeah, we take the Fledgling here. Because I think this is wheeling. Because, no, like, you really need to be in this deck. And we're in this deck and no one else is. Whereas Fledgling is just good in white aggro, white red aggro, whatever. Um, while still incidentally having synergies for us. So, yeah, we're going to take the Fledgling here. I mean, yeah. Oh, good lord, this deck. I'm going to be legit pissed if this deck doesn't 3-0. I'm not going to lie. I will be actually pissed if this deck doesn't 3-0. Because this deck is stupid. This deck looks... Like, this is just, like, the best version of this deck possible right now. Um, we're going to take the Aspirant. And fingers crossed we wheel the Temple. Um, but again, as we saw, Aspirant is a bit of a beating. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I don't think there's anything I actually want here. Again, there's an off chance that we maybe find some blue fixing in the last couple packs for the Rolex. So I guess that's probably the pick. I don't want to play a Tusker in this deck. It just doesn't need it. So yeah, we'll take the Rolex extremely speculatively. Um, there's the black fixing for like the Grack Maw if we really want to, but I don't think we need to. I think I'm just gonna take the uh, the Crystalline Giant here. Good solid creature with um, and for this deck, nice little curve filler. Ooh, Grateful Apparition looking pretty damn nice here, if I do say so myself. Think it's better than the Kavu for us. We have enough payoff. This is Enabler, which is what we want. Um, This pack is unfortunately a bust, but that's okay. Okay, I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Just like the actual perfects. Ozolith? Or do I take the fixing? Ozolith seems kind of sweet, though. Ozolith seems really sweet. Yeah, as, as expected, wield of the branching evolution. Um, dang. What are people drafting? Like, these are like, like, this card is dumb. Like, no one's in blue black at all. Like, this is a, like, this is almost first pickable. Veto, I guess. No one's in the life gain deck either. Obviously, this pick is meaningless. I'm sort of just curious. A lot of, like, really good Esperish stuff open here. Uh, nothing here. I guess we'll just take that. Still nothing here. kind of dope. I'm kind of interested in this. This deck looks really, really good. Do we need to make any cuts from this yet? We're at 27 with two playables. So yeah, I do need to make a couple of cuts. Uh, that doesn't do anything, unfortunately, for me. There's like an argument for Ranger of Aos. I actually have a lot of one drops now that I think about it. Um, oh, do you know what? I could consider this a land, which is actually kind of nice. It's basically just a land with upside for me, which is kind of cool. Chainweb Arachnir looks a little suspect in the main. That's probably sideboardable. Um, sure, whatever. So this is this is just the deck right now. This is the deck as it stands. This looks like a really good deck. If I, I'm not gonna lie, like I, as I said, I've said this already, but I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna be a little bit pissed if we don't three zero with this. Because, yeah, this is, this is kind of just, this is just literally if I could assemble, like, if I was, like, what is it, uh, Rochester drafting or whatever, rotisserie drafting? If I was rotisserie drafting, this is the deck I, this is the deck I would have come up with. Like, we basically have, like, all of the payoff cards. Mentor, um, Champion, Branching Evolution. Yeah, this, this deck is nice, dude. All right. Once again, let's do this stupid little song and dance. Uh, put it back in. Put it back in. At least I didn't forget this time. Uh, wait, this is 40 cards. What? Did I miscount? 
Cut this. Play this as a land. 16 lands plus fortification. Oh, sorry. I didn't put the gem razor back in. Durr. Durr, 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 durr. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is, this is nice. This is very nice. All right, and then uh, before we start, uh, I'll draw your attention to uh, the chat for a second, uh, in which MTG Bot is uh, reminding you that uh, should anyone be interested in coaching sessions for drafting, or you know, should you be interested uh, EDH or uh, brawl, I am offering that as an option, no pressure or anything. But uh, yeah, going off some feedback from the chat that that might have been a that might be a thing that people are interested in. So if you are curious about that. Go ahead and check out the uh, link of the uh, the panel in the description below. Um, and yeah, that said, let's ship it. I suppose I'm pretty good about this one. I like this. I like this. Also, for, uh, subs do get the first one every month free. So if you are subbed and that is something you're interested in, in any way, shape, or form, hit me up because it is no extra charge from what you've already given me this month. Uh, play first. Ooh, this is like a remarkably bad hand for this deck. We're gonna we can do better than this. Oh yes, much better. Um, keeping this. Gonna ship. Actually, what am I gonna ship here? I'm gonna ship the Emil. It actually seems like Emil's the weakest card here. Yeah, that seems fine. So let's go Forest Module. Man, I would love to draw like Swarm Shambler. If I don't draw land, then put a Swarm Shambler on top. If I do draw land, so be it. Kind of hoping I can draw a forest next turn, if we're being honest. I would, like, I'll play the Rishkar if I need to. It'd be so much better. Uh, yeah, I was going to say it'd be so much better if I could, like, draw the, uh... Yeah, having to whiff that trigger feels sad. Raise the alarm, got it. Take one... Ooh, that's actually a really nice draw. Really nice draw. Alright, so we're gonna go Armorcraft Judge. Draw a card. And then... Mm, do I ship for three, or do I just hold up fortifications? I guess I'll just ship for three here. Mono white or mono mana screwed? What do we think, chat? Possibly just mono white. Solid. Sol Wait, did they not attack with all? They just didn't attack? What? What? Like, I guess. That's an interesting uh, strategy. Alright, I mean, look, my opponent is not obligated to do that. Uh, I will decline this trigger so that I can then do this and decline multiple more triggers. I feel real sad about it. Vanishing Light, the patron. Got it. Jeez, I do take nine here. That's not nothing. Oh. I stand corrected, I take 10. Am I dying? No, I'm not dying. JK, we're not dying. I'd rather Thrashing Bronze it onto Ambush. Ooh, except this thing does have... Okay, let's see what's happening here, what's happening here, what's happening here. So Knight of Autumn...
Hello, Autumn. Destroy target artifacts. Banishing light. Um, decline, decline. Then I play Brontodon and pass. Ending the turn. No, I think we're actually fine here. I think like they, if they have almost anything, we're dead. But we're actually fine here because I can Brontodon to clip the uh, the first strike enchantment. Yep. So make the trade here. Block. Okay. Yeah, we're in business now. We are in busyness now. Ah, they do have green cards. So this is the mirror and they were just operating without green. Um, ooh, Shemblerino is a very nice draw here. Uh, yes, I will pay. Um, all right, so I don't have great block or attacks here, so I think we're just supposed to hold the fort. Because if I attack with the Arborcraft Judge, they just double block with two 1 1 tokens, essentially. I mean, they're obviously, I know they're 4 4s four right now, but I don't really want to trade my 6 6 for 1 4 4. Like, that just seems really bad. So we're just going to, we're just going to hold. We're going to chill. We have patience. We also just like kind of have blocks for days now. Yeah, so we're just playing the straight mirror. And my opponent was in fact just very badly mana screwed. Man, can we draw... Oh baby, can we draw Champion of Lamholt one time? Dang, nice card for them to have there. Yeah, their whole hand was just super gummed up. Just desperately waiting for a... Uh... Desperately waiting for a green source. Sure. Conclave Tribunal. What are you targeting? Probably for module, if I were to guess. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> module is pretty good here. Um, let's pump up the jam on Shambler. Ovia. Ovia is a banger. That is for sure. We are going to get large and in charge here. All right. What's your last card, opponent? Oh, oh yeah, we actually knew about that. They chose to keep it on top, which is, like, a little questionable. This also lets them start going really wide, but I get to go a little bit wider, I suspect. All right. I mean, Temple's fine. At least lets me doctor my next draw. No, thank you. Yep, that's why Temple's good. Temple basically just drew us a card there, which is uh, A-OK -okay with me. All right, this is going to be a dirtle off, but we have a champion of Lambhold, so as long as they draw their champion af after we draw ours, we don't know they have one, but they could. Ovia definitely outclasses perfect just a little bit here. Sure thing, friend. <laughs> Yes! Oh, baby, give me back that animation module. Give me back that animation module, please and thank you. You love to see it. You do love to see it. Um. No attacks. No attacks. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. No! My module! You jerk face! You jerk face! Um. Alright, well, let's get one more random creatures with a value out of it. What do I want to make? I guess I'll make my trampler bigger. I guess I'll make my trampler bigger. Yes, you can do that in response. That's fine. 
Um, let's pay one. Let's auto pay one. We have to tap. Yeah, tapping the five five is the best thing there. All right, all right, all right. Fine. We have fought many battles over this module, but it is finally and sadly defeated. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Wow, we are almost just playing the literal mirror here. Oh, I forgot to grow my gem razor. That was dumb. I could have grown it by one more. Just straight missed that. This is some kind of a board, friends. Alright, I mean, Salvala is going to be... Wait. Is it just going to draw me a bunch of cards? That's That was probably not correct of them to play that. Yeah, that was not correct by my opponent. I'm just going to put that out there. Uh, yes. Yes, I would like to do that. Cycle that away. We are just looking for a freaking whatchamacallit to end the game with now. The, uh... Oh, Champion of Lamholt. We are a Champion of Lamholt away from perfection. Does anything here have reach? They have no cards in hand. Just doing a quick reach check. Don't want to get baited by something stupid here. Uh... Can you imagine how many random idiots I would make off of this proliferate? Uh, Smith 3 is fine, yep. Thorn Lieutenant. Sure thing. Sure thing. Sure thing. This is game one, I want to remind everyone. This is game one. Whee! Um... Twenty-one minutes versus twenty-seven. Okay, we are under the gun. We are actually under some pressure to do something here. There's like just literally no point in attacking with anything but the apparition right now. As a side note, just because of the fact that they just have so many random disposable blockers. Like these are huge, but they are ultimately still very chumpable. This idiot does have trample, but they can also put like an ass ton of power in front of this right now. So even that doesn't really get me there. Yeah, so we're just pecking away. We're just pecking away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, wait, other? Oh, no, it's other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it'd actually be tied right now for biggest creature. All right. Just chipping away. God, if I can get a 1 1 counter on this apparition somehow, and start proliferating that. Got it, OP. This is quite the board stall. You know what? That's okay. Lands are fine now that I have a fledgling. 
Lands are fine now that I have a fledgling. Oh god, and it gets two counters because of the freaking Conclave Mentor? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, get it for four. We, we close in this game now. We close in this game now. Alright, solution is finding four targets. You better believe it. 18 cards left. My opponent's also got 18 cards left. Safford, you got it. Uh huh. All right, my opponent said in two turns as the board stands. You're counting attackers, I guess. I'm five. They might... Do they have enough power to swing out at me here? Now I'm a little scared. Now I'm a little scared. I haven't really thought about that. They might be considering lethaling me here. Combat. My turn. Nope. Okay, still, still just chilling. Just, can I draw a champion of Lamholt? No. Damn it. Um, sure, Pal Collector. You got it. Uh huh. Oh man, what a slog. Alright, if I draw land, we just win next turn. This goes to a 9-9, nine, nine, and then this is a 1-1, one, and there are 10. So, this is probably the turn where they're just going to ship and hope I make bad blocks, I assume. Yeah, they're just counting all of my blockers versus all of their blockers and trying to figure out if the math works out. Loyal Pegasus, that don't matter. That don't matter. This Ovia has been ridiculous. It cannot block alone, no. Alright, that's game. That's the goddamn game. And about goddamn time to... You got it. Entirely sure I were doing that, but, uh, sure. Ooh, what a game that was. Holy crap, that was a marathon. Absolute marathon of a game there. Um, did we see reason to want to bring in the Wanderer? Question mark. Timers are on, like, I think I've got, like, 20-ish minutes left. My opponent's probably got 25. Like, I did use more of the clock, but not much more. Ooh, I do want to bring in Chain Weber Acne. That actually looked really good. Um, but the only guard that really threatened to kill me at any point was the stupid Graceful Apparition. Or Great... Whatever. Apparition? Great... Grateful Apparition. Um, and I don't think... Yeah, and, like, Arachnir is actually a totally fine blocker for that. Um... I don't think we're trying to like board other colors in. That just sounds like asking for trouble. Collision Colossus. Nah, not worth it. Not worth it. I think the Arachnia is a better sideboard card than that. I might want to bring in the Ranger of Aos just to like gum up the board a bit further. But what do I cut? Like, do I want to cut anything from this deck, honestly? Like, no joke. The deck is kind of perfect. I might cut the Ozolith. Because they basically showed me essentially no removal that was graveyard-based. Like, all of their removal was exile-based, which the Ozolith... Well, no, that's not true. The Ozolith does say just anytime anything happens. So maybe that's maybe that's not entirely fair. 
Um, Richard leaves combat. Maybe I keep the Ozolith in. Patron was just a flyer, which was nice. Maybe I just take Bloom Hulk out because it's kind of like a mopey one shot effect, and like it doesn't get through any of their stuff. Yeah, sure. Let's get the let's get the Protean Hulk for the Chain Web Arachnir. I think that's a fine thing to do. And then, yeah, basically the question is like, do I want to bring in the Ranger of Aos? I could see cutting like Nessian Horn Beetle for that. Just go a little bit more long game. Yeah, well, all right, let's lock that in before we time out. I think that's fine. Because the card advantage matters, and it can pick me up a couple of, like, pretty relevant one drops. Like, it can pick... The fact that Ranger Veos can pick up my Hydra, like, the arbitrarily large Hydra, is, like, kind of a big game. Um... Damn, what a fun game that was. And we didn't even draw half of our bangers. Oh my god, will you get a look at this curve? My opponent better come to play. I'm not saying they can't beat this curve, but they better come ready to play, because this curve ain't fucking around. Alright, Pegasus, deal. Um, let's go Ozolith. What you got? Thorn Lieutenant, okay. I mean, respectable. Respectable. Uh, we're gonna go Luminarch Aspirant here counter on so we're gonna take four here we're gonna take maybe four four maybe more but like let's see what else we got let's see what else we got salvala okay that's fine that's fine um no blocks so i'm actually gonna get the draw card off of this salvala which is nice so crystalline giant draw card from salvala yes take action yes uh, let's see what counter this gets first. Oh, I don't get to choose? That's annoying. Um, I guess I want to make two 3-3s three more than anything else. Let's get Trample. Uh, sure, let's attack. Timers are still fine for what it's worth. 17 to 23. Like, neither of us are super at risk of losing much. That's not bad. That's not bad. And I definitely can't block any of it. Okay. Respectable. Respectable. Ooh. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um... So I think I just want to make an X3 here. X equals three, auto pay. Um, the target itself. Ooh, and it just gained hexproof too. That's kind of sweet. That's kind of sweet. All right, so now we're gonna chill because we are low. We are low now. We need to relax. We need to relax. We need to pump the brakes a little bit. There's actually a very good chance Knight of Autumn here is going to just gain me life. No joke. Okay, Rishkar's a thing. But one on the Pegasus seems like a pretty easy one to me, I think. I mean, my opponent also came to play here, not in fairness to them. Like, their, their, their curve out was very, very good. They just had, like, just full on, you know, one drop, two drop, three drop, stop, basically. We're likely going to cycle Tranquil Thicket next turn, but we may not. Okay. Incubation Druid is fine. All right, so they're trying to swarm us here. And they might get to. They might get to. Ooh, module is a very good draw for us, though, isn't it? So, animation module into Night of Autumn gain for life resolve go to combat some counters on stuff. Let's put a counter here, which makes the Hydra grow. 
Let's make a thing. Now it's got first strike. Ooh, first strike is a very nice ability to have on a blocker, isn't it? All right, all right. We're we're holding the fort. We're holding the fort here. Oh no, that's a very terrible card for them to have here, isn't it? Does that just kill me? I haven't really done the math on this, but I feel like that might just kill me. Or like at least put me in a position where I have to like block with everything, which is like really bad. Okay, so I can put the 1-1 one, one in front of the 5-6. That's like the level 1 block. I'm taking 4 no matter what. Ugh, that's really awkward. 5-5 five, five on the 4-5. Four, 4-4 five. Four, four on the 3-3. Three, three. 3-3 three, three on the 2-4. And I'm going to have to sack my Knight of Autumn here, I think, for the greater good. So 4 damage, 3 damage. Block here. Okay, that's honestly not bad. That's honestly not bad. So I'm taking 7 down to 5. The problem is I don't lose... Oh, they actually had enough for that. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Damn it. Losing the Wildwood Scourge is a bit of a problem. I thought that was a free block, but apparently I was wrong. Now, the funny thing is I get to just put like a thousand million counters on this. Oh, animation module triggers on a permanent. That's really funny. I didn't even think about that. But that's very funny. Um... Okay, let's let's cycle. Apparition. So I'm at five, and they kind of have like infi stuff. How much how many blockers can I make here? I can do this. This is probably gonna be not good enough, I expect. I do this. Uh make Give this a counter, give this a counter. Um, What are my triggers here? Was I now I'm resolving the Ozlith trigger? No. Am I? What trigger am I resolving right now? What trigger is this? Is this the Ozlith trigger? It's actually like not immediately clear to me whether or not it is. God damn it. But I'm just gonna target this anyway. And um, then target this. Take action. I am assuming I'm dead here. I haven't done the math, but I'm going to let my opponent make a mistake. If I can untap here, then I think we are in reasonable shape. But I'm not optimistic, obviously. One card left. Oh, it's good. okay. That 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 absolutely kills me. Never mind. That one absolutely kills me. Um. Okay. Well, I mean, I said my opponent needed to come to play that game, and they sure as shit did. Like a one, two, three stop curve is pretty absurd. Like one, two, three stop, and then just hit gas, 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 gas. Like that was that was a ridiculous aggro draw from them. Um, okay, so maybe it won't be as easy as I thought it would be. That's fair enough. Um, still kind of wondering if I don't want the Wander, but I don't think that I do. It just feels so narrow. Yeah, we're just going to chill. We're just going to chill. We're going to run it back, and I think we can get there. But I really, really want to win. I do think we actually, like, the other thing is I think we do have the better of the two, um, of the two counters decks. But their draw of that game was obscene. I will play first. 
Fuck, not like this, dude. Not like this. Okay, easy keep. Easiest keep of my life. Easiest keep of my life. I'm gonna ship the chain web, chain web arachnir. And we're just gonna go one module. Two aspirin. We're just gonna win the game. It's gonna be easy. We're gonna win the game just like that. Easy clap. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just don't remove my aspirant and lose. Woo! You love to see it. I was not actually serious, but I'll take it. Nice. Nice. All right. Yep. Turn one aspirant. Turn or sorry. Turn one uh, thinger machine. Whirly gig. What you call it? Turn two aspirant. Easy game. Easy game. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, keep. <laughs> Keep. Shame that this is a tapped green source, so I can't like get like the full nut curve. But ooh. yeah, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that. That is a okay with me, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? You know what? We're gonna go apparition this turn, so that we can go shambler plus aspirant next turn, right? Because like aspirant like has haste, if that makes sense, right? Oh, jeez. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm starting to think this deck might be busted. Just starting to think that. Like, what? <laughs> What's this curve? If I can draw a land next turn and go branching evolution animation module, like, get out of here. Oh, that's just that's just not gonna cut it. Um okay, so I think I'd rather get the evolution out first. Since that just like does shit for free. Um Yeah. Like what the hell, dude? This is so far from being reasonable. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Whoo, that was spicy. All right, so our opponent is black green stuff, I guess. They showed us black green, but they showed us an enchantment matters card. So maybe they got like some stab wounds, hateful Eidolon things to go along with this Tessin champion. But then they also showed us like Maybe a graveyard package with the with the fauna shaman. Not really sure what to make of that, but I don't think I don't think I care too too much about any of it at the moment. I'm wondering if it's not correct for me to be rerunning the uh, the Ranger of Eos over the Bloom Hulk, just because of the fact that I have four possible targets in the deck and like bloom hulk is just kind of medium i'm actually probably supposed to be doing that if anyone can remember try to intercept me before i queue up for the last match to make this like part of the game one configuration um yeah i like making that swap especially if i'm playing against a grindy value deck cards that do more than two for one or like cards that are two for ones are just or more in this case are just very very valuable like, being able to go turn four Ranger of Aos, pick up an Ovia, just seems very strong to me. This is a very slow draw for our deck. Like, really, 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 really slow. Um, we have the Temple of Plenty, and we're on the draw, so we can very likely find ourselves a one two or two drop in those first couple turns. Plus, I can redraw with the Tranquil Thicket. I think I'm going to keep this. I think it's not, like, I think it's greedy to try to mulligan a hand like this. 
But it wouldn't be like obscene, I don't think. I think like I think there's an argument for mulliganing, but I think on the draw with a scry land and a, and a cycling land, we can just kind of get there. Um, I am gonna play the temple first here. We don't need to get the animation module going. Nice. All right, yeah, I'm scrying through a two drop, easy game. So now we're just gonna go forest and apparition. We draw an untapped land next turn. We get to go Rishkar, put a counter on Rishkar plus Apparition. Ooh, that's a combo. That's sexy. I'm a little bit jealous what my opponent just did there. That's four mana that they have on turn three. After playing a two drop. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, my opponent just did the thing. We are probably just fucking dead now. Um, That was pretty gross by my opponent, not gonna lie. That's so much mana. Damn, that's a combo. That's a sick combo. Nice. Um, Yeah, they get a nice there for sure. Hmm. Let's cycle this. Okay, and I get to play two one-drop artifacts. That's, like, not a bad turn here. We're under the gun, because they can probably just unload their entire hand, but... If we get there, that's not terrible for us. It's like, we're definitely not out of it. We're definitely not out of it. We might just have to, like, play things a little bit more fair this turn. Um... Play the Conclave Mentor first here. Oh no. That's awkward. Okay, they drill land, which is fine. Like, they're not doing that much more on board right now, at least. A little bit sad about losing the Mentor, but... Seemingly, we're gonna lose, uh... Whatever it is we decided to do. Oh, what? Excuse me? Excuse me? All right, cool game, cool game, cool game. That was thoroughly unexpected, shall we say. All right, so they are just straight up four color nonsense. Four color, do whatever the hell I feel like. Nico Bolas out of the like base green deck is a thing, is a thing. <laughs> I'm not even mad, like, wow, was not expecting that. All right, yeah, we got we got demolished on that one. Holy crap! That combo of just insta juicing the uh, the incubation druid was whew, that was too spicy for me. True story. True story. Uh yes, I agree. I accept. I agree. I endorse. I support. Land, please? I actually will probably... Yeah, I'm shipping... I'm pretty aggressively shipping non-lands here. Turn two, I can just go via plus thinger if I need to. Yeah. Not the best, not the worst. I really, really want to find a land here, though. I need a land pretty bad. Land unlocks the rest of my hand. I have no more tapped lands except for the cycling one in my deck, either. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, All I ever wanted to see. Counter, counter. Um, and then, sh and then pass. Four mana. This could be a few things. This is not bolus mana. Champion of Lambholt is scary. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. We need to find an answer to that. I will say that is the one thing my deck does not do very well, is find, um, find answers to cards like that. Um, although, like, currently it's not that big, so it's kind of fine. Okay, what am I, what am I remaining one drops? I've already drawn two of them, so the other two are Pelt Collector and Swarm Shambler. Okay. Yeah, that all seems fine. 
So if I go wild, no, no, I don't do that yet. I go Hell Collector and Chandler are both green. I go Ranger of Aos, draw two. One, two, and I cast both of those. Oh! No, it wasn't greater, so it wouldn't have made a difference. That's fine. Never mind. I thought I missequenced that, but it didn't. It just actually would not have made a difference. Okay, I mean, this hand is set up to do some pretty nasty things here. We just need to, like, fade... I don't even know what we're trying to fade. We just need to fade something that doesn't mess with our plans, I suppose. Land, proliferate, it was pretty good here if they have that. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Like, this champion, like, their teams are now unblockable from now till the end of time. Um, actually, that's strictly true. If you have a about to start pooping out some pretty fat ones. Um, 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 um. All right, so what are we doing here? I really kind of want to sandbag this Knight of Autumn for like a uh, Conclave Tribunal or something, because they, they've, they've shown us they have that. So what am I actually going to do here? Do we just... I think I'll just play this for... I'm sure I need to activate Ovia. Play this for two, then I have one, two, three. I can make a one, one. A Swarm Shambler. Yeah, so let's play this just for X equals 1. And then I can go to combat and ship with the Ranger of Aos. Because I don't mind trading that for basically anything. And it's possible that they make a bad block. Yeah, they're just not going to take damage, which is completely rational and reasonable. Uh, now we just chill. Now we just chill. This is tense. Because the champion really does mean that I could be dead a little bit out of nowhere. And again, like, what is my removal situation like for that? Not great really at all <laughs> um i just don't have removal in this deck do i yeah no this deck is this deck is all gas and no breaks all right all right yeah okay putting it there sure sure so they're gonna get in for five here Three. Yep. Just proliferate for days. We're we getting Nicol Bolas in a minute. I kind of hope not. This is a little bit sketchy. All right, so I'm just thinking nine here because I don't think I have anything that can like legally block this because this is all creatures and power less. So what do I have to do here? I would have to. Yeah, so we're not blocking this attack, regardless. So we're just going to go to 11 here. That's kind of terrifying. Don't just have, like, pedal to the metal here. Uh... So I think I just make... 1-1. One, one. And then Basswood. Mm. I'm gonna Basswood now for sure. The question is what am I targeting? I think it's gonna be the Pelt Collector, yeah. Also growing the Scourge, notably. Oof. Okay, so the problem with Judge... The problem with Judge is that I don't think I live the turn if this is what happens. 
but I might be able to draw cards and then gain life. One. Yeah, I think that's what I have to do, isn't it? That's what I have to do, I think. This is tight. This is really tough. Um... Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, okay, so tap the Pelt Collector. Tap the Rishkar. Tap a Forest. Tap the Plains. Cast Armorcraft Judge. Draw a bunch. Okay. Land for turn. Then I play. What do I play here? I just play the Knight of Autumn and gain four. Knight of Autumn gain four, go to fifteen. Um and I still have enough blockers, so I think I just deploy the giant now. Deploy the giant. Or rather, I'm not even blocking, am I, right? Because, like, I just literally can't block anything that they have here. So this has reach, but unfortunately that doesn't help me. Um, and since I'm not blocking, I may as well be attacking, so I'm going to send with the ranger. Ooh, this is tight. Okay, how much damage am I taking? Six. Six, nine, ten, eleven. If they prolifer- if they have a land drop and they activate proliferate, then that's two extra to thirteen, but that doesn't kill me. Oh no! They have the double proliferate? That's not good. So they can proliferate three times? Okay. 10, 11, 12. Not dead yet. So this is 13. This is 13. God, Champion of Lambhold is actually just the most messed up part. Vandal is 14. That's not lethal, though. That's not lethal. If they have another creature, I'm dead. F me. Really? Status statue for Xaxes? Man, that feels bad. That feels really bad. I mean, that is the price of not putting removal in your deck. Although, I don't even think we passed removal. We just, like, didn't find removal in our draft, in our colors. That feels bad, though. But also kind of illustrates the power of Champion of Lambhold. Like, that card just wins games. It just gets progressively larger and makes blocking not a real thing. So, yeah, so it goes. Damn it. Yeah. I mean, they earned it. They earned it. Like, they played to their outs, and we sure lost. God, lost the four color champion of Lamhold nonsense. Ugh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. <laughs> Man. Have we even drawn our Champion of Lambhold? We drafted this so high and we just haven't seen it yet. Like, that game would have been like an instant win if we'd ever done that. But alas, we haven't seen it yet. Haven't seen it yet.
draw. I don't know what that means. Better not cost me the last match. God damn, can you imagine? I think draw just means you get to go again in these leagues. Draw strikes me as like a matchmaking failure or something on the con on the client's end. Game remaining indeed. Let's try again. And it's the queue. Love to see it. Wolf Bark. Wolf Bark 36. Except his avatar is a cat. I have questions. Ooh, yeah, this is an easy keep. Even without the white, this is still like a pretty solid hand for us. Um, yeah, we're gonna go Pell Collector first here. Pell Collector into Horn Beetle is a nice, uh, nice little curve. White, black. So, probably life gain could be Aristocrats. Seemingly the latter. I mean, honestly, that's fine. This still grows the Pelt Collector. I'm going to attack with both. I'm quite happy to trade my Horn Beetle for their Nykaeus. If they just go block and then pump. That seems like a very reasonable trade to make. It seems like they're not interested in that. Attack and pump, sure thing. I can draw a land next turn, Bloomhawk would be pretty spicy. Lots of spicy draws actually next turn, potentially. Possibly the spiciest of draws, in fact. So we're gonna go Mentor. You know what, let's just go to combat first. I'm going to play the Ozolith first here. Wait, does this say on a permanent or on a creature? Okay, on a creature. So I'll play the Ozolith first in case they have removal for the Pelt Collector. Because I would like to have that proactively out. Hello, opponent, please. Hello. I would like to play Magic, thank you. Um, and we're just going to ship with the Bronte here. Just shipping with the Bronte. So this is actually kind of nice because I can actually even go Conclave, like I can play the Conclave Mentor and then actually still hold up the Bronto, Bronto activation, which works out pretty nicely. Yeah, don't hate this. Like, I don't have any real blocks, so go to 10. A conclave mentor, and then that's the turn. <laughs> so, next turn, if we draw a land, then I'm going to go fledgling plus land or fledgling into land. If we don't draw a land, then I'm just going to go bloom hulk in all likelihood. Rogue is more than fine. Rogue is more than fine. It does sort of stall our attack out a little bit, but not like horribly or anything. Branching evolution, huh? Branching evolution. Yeah, so we're just gonna Bloom Hulk here. Only one target, but the nice thing is it actually like uh, so I want to grow it before proliferating, yeah. If I do it in that order, then it's still bigger. Oh, that's pretty sick. Uh, attack. 
I did kind of forget the combo with the mentor there for a split second. I was like, holy shit, how is this thing so big? Uh. Sure? Weird block, but okay. You got it. My kids would have been pretty spicy in this deck, actually. We never picked one of those. We've never I don't even know if we've seen one of those. My kids would have been Can you imagine my case on this board right now with a conclave mentor out? Oh. Okay. I mean, that did seem like the, uh, the, the logical conclusion to that. So we saw a Mycaeus and a Black Bloom Rogue. And some white and black lands, which makes sense. Um, that does unfortunately- oh, I did forget to make the swap, but that's okay. I'll tr try it again. Funnily enough, the Bloom Hulk was actually really good there. Um, but I do think I'm gonna still swap it for the, uh, for the Ranger here. If that blue mug was actually four mana, give my creature plus four, plus four, and trample permanently, which was like pretty spicy, and also grow the uh, the Nessian beetle in the process. So it worked out really well in that job. I do think that the Ranger of Eos is the better card overall. Well, we're not going to win games of magic when our hands have zero lands in them, are we? Mulligan and keep. That's a lot of four drops. It's a lot of four drops. Sorry, Emil. You're cool and all, but I think you're still just going to the bottom again here. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe Renata goes to the bottom. Renata's the better card here, but I also don't know for a fact that I'm going to draw a second green by the time I get to cast her, whereas I will definitely get to cast Emil off of any fourth land. Let's put Renata on the bottom. It's a little contentious of a play, but I think it was fine. Ooh, that's a beautiful draw on turn two. And for turn three, for that matter. Love to see that. Love to see that. Turn two, my case again? What do we got? What do we got? Thinking about it. Yep, turn two, my case. Mentorino... Killerino? Please no Killerino, my Mentorino. Ooh, Cultivate. So they were off a of color last game. I wonder if that's what happened. Yeah, maybe they were just starved on, like, maybe they were just sitting on, like, mono green cards. That means there might be more of a game to be had here than I had anticipated, which is obviously a little bit intimidating. All right, can we roll Hexproof first again? What do we think? Hexproof first again? Nah, just reach. The literal worsts. Oh well. Uh, so next turn... Next turn, what do we like? So force in hand. So they have five mana now. It's a lot of mana. We cast presumably most of the cards in their deck at this point. Colors-wise. Since they have their pick. They're wondering if they should kill the giant before they no longer have the chance to. Which is fair. I, that's the giant dilemma every time. If you got that sorcery speed removal and you're like, I wanted to get hexproof, but I also kind of don't want to kill it right now necessarily because it doesn't have hexproof yet. We shall see. We shall see. Yeah. Edict. Edict is actually pretty interesting. I am... Hmm. That's actually a good edict here for my opponent, to be honest. So do I edict the Mentor, which is like basically a Counter's Lord, or do I edict the Giant, which is sort of just like a generic beat stick? I actually think I eat the Giant. I think I eat the Giant and keep the Mentor. I actually think that the Mentor is the better card for me here. Now, this might come down to being a moot point if my opponent just has nothing either way, but... Yes, we're going to play this to guarantee to have the land, and then I'm going to play 
This, this essentially makes this a 3-mana 3-3 three, three with upside, which I think I like. Actually, cancel that order. Cancel that order. Let's just play the Apparition. And then I can play the Scourge next turn and already have the Apparition going. Um... Yeah, so this doesn't work like the thing, like, so if this was like, uh, Hardened Scales, then I could actually play this for X equals zero, and it would come in with one counter, and that would be, like, kind of fine. But this only uh, counts if you do it for at least one, so I can't just play it for zero and expect it to live. Alright. Hopefully this My Chaos doesn't range us. The turn to My Chaos might be a problem. They're on, they're on five. They still have to wait two more turns. Like, at least one more turn from here to mill that over. Death Toucher. Wowza, that's some cards. I'm a little scared of a reanimation effect with this Lord of Extinction in the bin. Opponent's on Abzan good stuff. Got that good, good, good stuff. Um... Do I play the Scourge here? Do I play the Ranger here? Do I play the Emil here? A lot of options for me. A lot of options for me. I kind of like the idea of playing... Oh, man, I don't even know. Is that true? Let's play the Ranger of Eos, actually. Let's play the Ranger of Eos. It fishes some dead draws out of our deck. So I think here we're going to go get... Yeah, we're gonna go get Ovia and Swarm Shambler. And then we'll attack for one. In the air. What you got? Oh, take one. Nothing to proliferate except for my chaos, so we're gonna not do that. And then they're probably going to put a 1-1 counter oh, on itself. I actually did think they were going to go wide on the Hierophant there, but color me incorrect. Reminder to everyone watching that I do have a YouTube channel, so uh, if you ever want to watch uh, past highlights of uh, the streams, that is the place to find them. Um, and I would very much appreciate uh, the subscription and the likes in the process. Caligo Skin Witch, huh? All right. Uh, so we're definitely discarding the Gem Razor here. I don't see that being super good. And I think we're actually just discarding the Emil here. Sorry, Pony. This just hasn't been your, uh, this just hasn't been your, uh, your draft. Second picked it, I think, and have just basically bottomed it and discarded it and whatever else did it every game. Um, obviously this attack is not as free of a block as it would appear. I'll take my three. I'll take my three. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. We're going to go one, two. Cast Wildwood Scourge for X equals one, which is actually going to make it X equals two because of the Mentor. And we're going to go Shamblerino. Grow the Scourge. And then we go Animation Module. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Um, and then I get to attack. And proliferate. So for four mana, I played ten power worth of creatures this game. Oh, no, no, more than that. More than that. More than that. Oh, baby. I paid two mana for this Wildwood Scourge, and it's an 8-8. The same turn. <laughs> Just uh, putting that out there for thought. Hi, Scully. Making yourself comfortable in my lap, I see. All right, so it can make me sack something. I'll probably just sack the Ranger of Aos at this point if they do that. If they want to flash back the Chainers. Their attacks are officially terrible. 
Like, again, they can get in for four here quite easily, but I don't think that that actually matters. They probably don't either, because, like, that just means they're, like, enabling a Scourge to attack in for free. Like, we're kind of hitting a bit of a stalemate here, which I'm okay with on the balance. I think a stalemate is likely to our advantage over time. If they have a removal spell for the Scourge, then this is, then that's very different. But, oh wow, they're really just shipping, eh? Um, that is fine. That is more than fine. I will take my licks. Finality? Ooh. I hate to see that. I hate to see that. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So... No secret here, I have an Ovia Fashiri. Um, let's go to combat. Let's attack. It's debatable as to whether or not that attack was actually good for my opponent, or that finality was actually good for my opponent, if we're being honest. That Shainer's Edict is, like, just officially not doing anything anymore. What is it? Nine? I have no cards in hand, and they have three. Four, really. Although one of them is a very expensive and overcosted sacrifice spell. Null Priest of Oblivion. Oh, that's bringing back stupid Lord of Extinction, isn't it? That's not good. That's not good. Yep. Casual 14 14s. Casual 14 14s. No tax, though, by my opponent. That is interesting. That is interesting. Um. Pass turn. No tax. We do have a game to give here, but. Okay, so them having a them having a null priest definitely makes a little bit more sense as far as what they did goes. I might have some trouble with this Lord of Extinction. It is a little bit large. A little bit large. Uh sure. Block, block, block. Um, oh, I see what's happening here. Never mind, never mind. This is actually a good attack on my opponent's part. This is actually a good attack on my opponent's part. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Because the problem is, if I do that, then it actually makes their, uh, it actually unlocks their Chainer's Edicts. They're still pro- they should still probably just do it here. It's not really getting better than it is right now, quite frankly. But... But I do get to actually get rid of the 3-3 three, three instead of, like, either my Ovia or my 9-9. Nine, nine. Like, the Chainer's Edict is just, just, it's just not getting better for your opponent. Yeah, they know I'm going to sack this, but it's not getting better for them. So there's very little reason for them to, uh, to do otherwise. Um, fuck, I will say that these are some pretty mopey draws, though. Pretty mopey draws, though. So I can make, yeah, okay. All right, Th this, is, this is fine. I'm not loving my position here, but this is fine. Hmm. So one, two, three. Oh, I actually should play land then. I should play land then because I need seven total this turn for what I want to do. So land is actually important. 
because land lets me activate Ovia for a servo activate module. Yeah, activate Ovia for a servo. Oh, what am I doing? I was supposed to attack there. Oh, I'm so bad. I was supposed to attack there. Oh no, that was that was loose, dude. I guess it wasn't lethal, so maybe I was maybe I wasn't supposed to attack. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna see. So my opponent still has tons of cards. I'm kind of breaking off. I've got a bit of an engine thing happening here. Uh, let's uh, let's fuck around and find out, as they say. All right, so activate this, target this. Hey, activate this, make a dundum. Hey, block, block, block. Okay. Grim Dancer. So that's definitely getting Menace and Death Touch. Definitely getting Menace and Death Touch. Yep. It's pretty bad for me, actually. Not a fan, not a fan. Not a fan, not a fan. No, stop looking at your graveyard. I'm very- Oh my god! All right, well, that's the fucking game, isn't it? Yeah, Pump Collector, not exactly gonna do it. So, fuck me, I guess. Fuck, that sucks. Yeah, that Mike Chaos kind of took me to town, didn't he? Um, all right, this is actually a deck where I think I'm boarding in the Wanderer. This is actually a deck where I'm boarding in the Wanderer. I think we found, I think we found the matchup. Um, Horn Beetle out, if that's the case. Um, I think that's good enough. Pass otherwise. Pass otherwise. Oof, this is so slow, but it's also like kind of powerful, but also it's really slow. I just think this is too slow for what my opponent's doing. Like if they have like an early, if they have an early start like they did last game, like this just, we just get steamrolled. Like we had a good start last game and still kind of got buried. Sorry, Emil, once again, to the bottom with you. Uh, all right, well, this is a keep for sure. And then I think I'm bottoming like Gem Razor probably. I think Gem Razor is the worst card uh, based on what we know our opponent has. Very much hoping to temple slash draw into land. Yeah, bottoming a five very easily as well. We know our bottom two cards now. Give me lands, give me, give me two drops. That's what I want. Set a land, give me like Luminarch Aspirant. Land is fine. I accept. Still a bit, gonna be a little bit slow on the board, but it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. We're doing fine. Mindstone is actually pretty good. Ooh. Nice. Okay, that means I actually get to go Thrashing Bronted on first, which I like a lot. Because that means that I actually get max Rishkar value out of this. I might actually even wait to Rishkar. I might just Ranger next turn or Wanderer if they give me a target for it. Okay, we're kind of getting there. We're kind of getting there. The Runner Runner land has been uh, extremely nice. Hmm. Don't let me play. Yeah. You're sleepy. Go to sleep. Right, they're going to find a white source here. I'm guessing they're probably sitting on a bunch of white cards in hand based on... 
just sort of how this hand looks. So I wouldn't be surprised to see them find. Oh, I was gonna say planes, planes, but planes swamp also scans. They definitely showed us double black cards. I don't think they showed us any double white cards. Like really, might like they might actually just be green black splashing Micaeus. To be perfectly honest. Ooh, Scourge is decent. All right, so we're gonna go Ranger of Aos here. Tutor up some idiots. Uh, once again, we're gonna get Swarm Shambler and Ovia. Smack for three. Aerophant is acceptable. Going over just land, land, land. It's not the worst, I guess. Um, this gives power four greater, so we're not. That's not quite good enough for that. Okay, so what are we doing here? One, two. All right, so we're gonna tap three for Rishkar, making both of these ones chunk, and then. I think I'm just going to tap out for Branching Evolution this turn. And then next turn we can kind of pop off a little bit, I think. Next turn we can kind of pop off a little bit, depending on what they do. I really hope they just play like a fat Mycaeus here and I can just drop a Wanderer on it. That would actually be quite nice, I think. Just tap out for a huge Micaeus. What could possibly go wrong? Leave my shit alone. I see you eyeballing it and I don't like it. Leave it alone. Do they have like a Mortify? This feels like they have Mortify and they're trying to figure out if they're supposed to kill the Evolution or the Rishkar. That's my read. Brokos. Oh, and it Exiles? Oh, you love to see that. You do love to see that. Oh, yes, please. Yes, 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 please. All right, so we're going to tap one, two... Scourge, Shambler, Wanderer. Oh yeah, this turn is going to be very nice. X equals one. Pay it. It's actually two. Swarm Shambler. Wanderer. Exile that one. Just get the old two for one value. All right, so basically the only shit thing that could happen to me is that they have fine finality because that kills everything except Brontodon right now, unfortunately for me. Fuck! Fuck, I had to say it. I cursed myself. I cursed myself. No! No, why? Why? Oh, you hate to see it. God, that was such a sick board, too. That was such a sick board, too. All right, we can rebuild. We can rebuild. We have the technology. But goddamn if that wasn't a kick in the dick. Oof. Yeah, cashing in the stone here makes sense. Like, they're still very behind on board here, despite the savage blowout that was that turn. Oh, that was, that was just, that was so mean, opponent. Why you gotta be so mean? Edict. Mm. Honestly, that's a toughie. I think I'm just straight up edicting this, god, am I edicting this stupid Brontodon? I am edicting this stupid Brontodon, god damn. Yeah. It's not often you see Edict look that good, but it did look good there. Alright, leave my, leave my garbage alone. Oh no. Unburial Rites on Titan Othrex is going to be not a good time for me if they have that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I guess actually this turn it's fine because Ovia. Yeah. 
No attacks. I guess they do still have the Wanderer, so if they do unburial rights the Titanoth, it's like not that bad. I still think my opponent, I mean, I don't know, maybe they just don't Edict here, but like, again, Edict, not that good against me. Although they've been managing to find some really, really nice windows for it. Oh, ass. What does this bring back? Oh, this literally just brings back Titanoth, but I can just eat that, so that's fine. Alright, I can live with that. I can live with that. That is a-okay. Alright, exile that one too. Ooh, that's a good draw. Ooh, that's a very good draw, actually. Alright, get that out of here. Get that garbage out of here. Um... This Wanderer has been really good this game, by the way. Okay. Have we turned the corner? Or does my opponent have further fresh hell to unleash on me? I'm glad you enjoyed that, Noah. <laughs> like, honestly, like, that was probably a pretty clippable moment. That was probably if I'm gonna, if I ever make like a like a like a like a YouTube slash like Twitch trailer reel, that's probably gonna be on there because that was that was pretty clippable. In fact, if if it, I don't know how clipping works and how easy or difficult it is, but if you're able to go back and clip that, I would very much appreciate it because that 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 is a very funny clip, honestly. Mantle of the Wolf, you say? I accept. That does gain them six life. That, that is not an unreasonable amount of life for them to gain here. Yeah. And it has menace, no less. Their own Ovia. Uh oh. Ooh, Emil, though. Emil, though. Is that. What does that do for me? What does that do for me? What does Emil do for me? Maybe something, maybe nothing. Next. Okay, so I attack with this and with this. Send them back down to five. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how recent things need to be to clip. I'll, I'll, I'll grab a clip of it just from the VOD then, honestly. Um, when I do the editing tonight. Because I think I will edit. I think I will, um, I think I will highlight this deck. This deck definitely seems highlight worthy. The five. Is that lifelink? No. Somehow, no. Another target creature you control. Mm hmm. So you go up to 11, and then what? If they're going to 11 regardless, I don't think I mind taking the damage here. I think that that's, like, not really a big deal for me. I could offer the trade here. But if they have a removal spell, then it's kind of a blowout. Yeah, we're just going to take it here. No blocks. If they have some, like, ridiculous pump spell, then, like, fuck me, I guess. I go to 11, I go to 8. My opponent living that battle cruiser operational kind of life right now. So if I just land, I think we're in like very good shape, seriously. So I don't know. I don't know, man. Ooh, also, Knight of Autumn would blow up the Mantle of the Wolf. That would be pretty important. What else can I draw? What am I trying to draw to here? Gem Razor we ditched, if I recall correctly. So, Knight of Autumn is 
Yeah. Knight of Autumn is probably just our actual factual best draw. Followed by like animation module or just like a land. That's okay. That's okay. Um. So what the hell happens if I attack with everything here? They're at a. Vir they're virtually at. They're virtually at fourteen, and they have one blocker minus any flash surprises. And the blocker would be a three, a two-two. So they block Emil, and then they take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they don't die. So then I guess that's not the line here, is it? That's not the line here. Um, do I pay the one? No, I'd actually rather just get a token. So I think I do attack. I do attack. I think this is the attacks that I make. They still want them as low as possible, so they're not just gassing right back up to the top. That's a ball to block. Okay. I have questions for my opponent, but... Okay. Why would you not just block with that one instead? What are we doing here? Do they have status statue? What? Yeah, sure, that's fine. That, oh man, I... Like, either that was so bad by them for no reason, or I'm getting hooked here somehow, but I don't know how, but I'm scared. I'm scared. Four cards in my opponent's hand now. Four cards in my opponent's hand now, but I'm at eight. I can definitely block the Null Priest. So we're essentially at a virtual six, at a virtual 14 on board right now. We're at a virtual 14 on board. Combat. Um, blocks? Fuck around and find out, I guess. Let's see the removal spell. Oh, they just didn't have it. Okay, so they get two wolves. But, like, I think I come out ahead on that exchange. I get a 6-5 menace lifelink off the battlefield and they get two wolves. And all I did was trade three random free servos that I got off of a card I didn't pay, that I paid one mana for. Call the Death Dweller, sure. Sure. Alright, I mean, our opponent's definitely making us work for it here. We are working for it here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna chill on this one, I guess. So, Emil Patron of the Valiant is kind of a combo. Uh-huh, uh-huh. They're just attacking with the Null Priest to gain life. I don't think there's any other reason to do that. So we're going to put the 3-3 three, three under the Lord of Extinction bus. And then... 
think we just block here, block here, because a land also means we just win on board. And I'm so nervous. Okay, they've already used Fine Finality. I don't think there's any, like, Ewit effects in the format. Sure, you have a 6-6. Six, six. Doing that also means they're not activating... Or they're not using the Edict effect. Oh, this thing had Death Touch. I did actually miss that. My opponent still dies to a land, notably. Still dies to a land, notably. Though sadly, the Wanderer. Without a proliferate effect. Yes, alright. Easy game. Alright, that's all we needed. Good enough. Ship it. Get him. Bang, bang. Oof, that was a tight one, though. That was a tight one. Our opponent really made us earn that one. Man, that deck is really good, and we had some very close games with it. I like that. I like that deck. I like that deck a lot. 